This is uh, the Dirge Electronics uh, Mega Dweller 2.0. Uh, a little bit of a demo to explain its features. Um, I'll give a knob rundown and a kind of general layout. Um, so you have your bypass switch. This is your uh, delay time multiplier. Um, this knob is your second knob. These two are your uh, two delay ranges with your half and full speed uh, switch. Um, so when you click this times two um, foot switch, it hooks up to this knob so you can have a alternate delay time on the fly instead of reaching down and touching one of the knobs. Um, you have this uh, s um, rewind slam switch which brings your echo time all the way down to zero and then slingshots it back um, to where it was originally so that you can get these really uh, crazy oscillations. You also have your infinite repeat um, and you also have this um, photoresistor toggle so you can create warbles with uh, putting your foot over the um, actual unit itself. There's also a sensitivity knob for the photo eye to make them uh, either more or less uh, uh, sensitive to light. Um, then you also have the dwell which is how long the um, delay kind of lingers and your echo which is um, a little bit similar. Um, you have your uh, mono input, your dry output, and then two mono um, outputs with affected outputs. And you also have expression control of the dwell. Um, so here is my clean tone. I'm running a uh, parts jazz master into a Varelin stack and into a Valve Junior. So this is uh, the uh, regular speed and not the half speed, um, and I'll just go through some simple delay settings before I get into all the switches. So that was me going between the normal, just regular delay, and then hitting the uh, multiplier switch to go between the two delay settings. Um, so I'll set up a few different ones. I'm going to go into half speed. Um, we'll take the bonus switch off. This is your slower delay time. 
and this is the max. It gets a little bit noisy on the max delay for some lo-fi repeats. Now I'm going to add in the photosensitive eyes. <laughs> 